science. Okay. How about the human genome project? Okay. Okay, let's get started. The Human Genome Project, an international scientific research project with the goal to determine the sequence of the chemical base pairs which make up human DNA. The Human Genome Project can be seen as one of the greatest scientific advances in the history of the world. It promises to shed light upon disease-causing genes, designs new drugs, understands cancer and developmental processes, and the origin and evolution of the human race. But... The Human Genome Project came with tons of controversy, so let's take a walk down memory lane. 1953, the year James Watson and Francis Crick deduced the molecular structure of DNA. The genome is made up of DNA. Watson and Crick won the Nobel Prize for their work in 1962. Since then, scientists dream of the day they'd be able to determine the complete sequence of DNA. Moving forward, 1977, Walter Gilbert and Fred Sanger found out a way to sequence DNA. They received a Nobel Prize. Sanger's group was the first to completely sequence a genome. In 1986, Leroy Hood made the first generation of automated DNA sequences. This caused an increase in speed among sequencing. The DOE became the first federal agency to fund the Human Genome Project. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up In 1988, the National Institutes of Health made an office for the Human Genome Project, and Watson was the lead. They had a budget of $3 billion. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get enough. And every time I step up in the building, everybody hands go up. And they stay there. In 1990, sequencing of the human genome had officially begun. 20 international researchers embarked on the world's largest biological collaboration. The Human Genome Project's goal was to sequence an entire human genome in 15 years with $3 billion of public funds. Seven years before the project's completion, a company known as Solara declared that they could do the exact same in just three years and at a lower cost. Both organizations discussed plans to pursue a joint venture. However, things did not work out due to legal and ethical reasons of genetic property, and this is when the race to mapping the human genome began. Time to see a bubbly face. I get the tingles in a silly place. Starts in my toes and I crinkle my nose. Wherever it goes, I always know that you make me smile. Both the HGP and Solara used different approaches to sequence a genome, but it was HGP that published the completed genome 24 hours after collecting data, as initially promised. Following this, scientists rigorously sequenced genes for the next three years, and in February 2001, a conclusion was made. HGP and Celera simultaneously published working drafts of over 90% of the human genome, much ahead of schedule, and the race ended in a tie. It was quite unusual for the Human Genome Project to immediately share their data upon collection. Most scientists keep their data under wraps so they can analyze and publish their conclusion. The Human Genome Project did the unexpected, which resulted in an accelerated pace of research and formed an international collaboration.
Sequencing the genomes was only step one of the process. Today, scientists are putting their all in to decipher our genes and their functions and how they are controlled. It is now the job of the next generation of intelligent researchers like you to unfold new discoveries. Thank you.